So obviously we have to now come towards the coast. Uh, we talked about uh, transitional waves and shallow water waves and shallow water waves happen when the waves begin to hit the bottom, when waves begin to feel uh, the bottom, right? So this is where we get into the surf zone where the waves begin to break and produce surf. Surfers love it and obviously the critical ingredient is that the water is shoaling which means the where well, the bottom is coming up because you are on the beach which is above the water so the water depth is getting shallower and shallower so the wave is coming into shallower and shallower water so when the deep water waves encounter shoaling water less than half their wavelength they transition into transitional waves and they become uh, shallow water waves at uh, 1 20th when the uh, depth is 1 20th of uh, the wavelength. Um, what do you expect? L over T is the celerity of the wave speed, right? So L decreases as they come closer to the coast, which means the speed also decreases because period is an intrinsic qu uh, quantity that is imparted by the forcing and the wavelength decreases. But what happens the energy then goes into the wave height remember the wave is carrying the energy you're breaking it and you're slowing it down so it's like uh, uh, going up it's literally like you are running and then you suddenly have to stop you may tip over right so if the wave height becomes uh, steep enough uh, where the steepness is 1 over 7 h over l height wave height or wave length is greater than 1 over 7 then gravity just pulls it down and the waveform breaks so here is a cartoon we'll see the animation later on uh, here is a nice happy uh, deep water wave it's transitioning as it gets closer to uh, the coast and it's beginning to feel the bottom here and you can see this uh, purplish uh, area becoming a funnel that's kind of bedding, getting bent and you can see at the surface that the waves at constant wavelength are beginning to touch the bottom so wavelength is becoming shorter and wave speed is decreasing because you are the bottom is pulling the wave and it's breaking the wave so wave is beginning to tilt over so the, the surf zone is beginning to get formed and eventually steepness is going to be high enough that the waves are going to break from this foamy area which we call uh, surf zone, right? Uh, what kind of uh, wave breaking happens? You get what are called uh, uh, wave breakers in the surf zone and depends on how uh, steep or how smooth or how shallow the wave breaker is uh, to see what kind of surf zone you get. So surf as well as swell from distant storms are coming into the beach and waves break close to the shore and you get uniform breakers based on the uh, topography as we will see uh, in a minute if surf, surf is generated by a local wind so if the uh, and you are sitting at the beach the beach itself is very windy this can happen if you go to a cold miserable place like Denmark where any water they call beach but it's so cold and so miserable so windy that you don't want to go there okay but that they have no choice so they jump into these cold waters and swim anyway and say I love the beach but if you are going to Goa and think that's the beach Denmark is not the beach for you okay so shallow water waves form and you get three types of breakers they're called spilling breakers plunging breakers and surging breakers the surfers uh, surfer dudes know these things so here is a spilling breaker you can see a nice photo which has air packet here uh, with the uh, waveform tipping over with the uh, waveform that is going to tip along this direction the surfer is basically going to uh, go along this way where the buoyancy force is, is pushing him uh, into the wave and gravity is pulling him down so basically he's trying to balance these two uh, forces so if you have as the waves come in if the uh, bottom of the ocean is sloping gently towards the beach 
then the wave energy is spent very nicely and you get these spilling breakers. They are uh, maybe good for uh, learning surfing. I don't know anything about surfing. I'm just telling you from what I uh, read and what I hear. So these are soft and smooth. They are not exciting, but they are good for learning uh, surfing. So wave energy is expended over a longer distance, so it's smoother uh, dissipation of energy. Water slides down the front of the slope, whereas in a plunging breaker, uh, this is uh, what you will see in exciting movies like, uh, I don't know, the blue or whatever, the Hawaiian surfers and girls and boys may impressing each other with uh, great surfing stunts and so on. The slope is now uh, steeper than uh, in a spilling uh, breaker. Wave energy now gets uh, spent in a shorter distance as you come towards the coast. And it's best for uh, surfers who are already professional bold surfers. So you get these curling wave crests, uh, so-called tubes, uh, and you often see this um, surfer coming flying out of this tube along this uh, waveform. I lost, yeah, along this waveform here. Okay, the surging uh, breakers are not very good because they can smack you. Uh, into the sand even if you're a professional surfer. Here the sea floor is very steep or has a jump in the uh, topography as it come towards, comes towards the, the beach. So energy is suddenly uh, uh, dissipated in a very short distance as the wave hits this steep uh, topography. It's best for body surfing which means you're laying on the uh, surfboard and you are kind of paddling along. Okay and waves break on the shore. Uh, something we didn't uh, really do here. Uh, when you're sitting at the beach, let's say you're sitting with grandma and you're looking at these waves coming in and uh, they are uh, coming in at some angle maybe, but when they come to a close, they're always parallel to the beach. Why does that happen? If you want to impress grandma, you want to use your knowledge of the wave speed of a shallow water wave which is square root g d or 3.13 square root d proportional to the square root of the depth. Can you use this to explain to grandma why even if a wave comes at an angle it will end up becoming parallel to the coast? Very easy because the wave has higher speed away from the beach because d is greater, square root d is greater so it moves faster the front that is closer to the beach moves slower because square root d is smaller so the back end moves faster front end moves slower and you end up making it parallel we'll see this again in a in a minute but i just wanted to put it out so you can imagine it in your head using square root d to explain why wave crests become parallel to the coast as they come towards the beach